Hello, my name is Frank Huang, and in this video I want to show you how to view the preface, critical commentary, and other helpful explanatory notes directly on your scores in the Henley app. Let's get right to it. One of the main differences between the Henley app and its printed edition is that in the electronic version you do not need to tediously turn back and forth from the score to the critical commentary. This makes learning about the historical background of the piece and studying from a Urtext edition much more convenient. When you open your score, tap once in the center of the page, and then tap on this icon in the upper right corner. After that, make sure to tap Score Comments in the drop-down menu. Once you have done this, you will now be able to view your critical commentary embedded seamlessly in the score. The passages in question will be highlighted in blue. As you can see, when I tap on them, you will see a pop-up here of the publisher's remark. And for your convenience, you can drag this anywhere along the screen. I really like how easy Henley makes this for the user. I should also mention that in the same drop-down menu, you will find other important historical background information to help bolster your performance of the work. Here in this Brahms Violin and Piano Sonata score that I've opened up, you will find a facsimile of the manuscript's front page, preface, list of sources, and a letter to Clara Schumann about the work. In my opinion, this specific feature makes Henley Editions stand out from other sheet music. The true value of Henley scores lies in all of the important information that they provide through their Urtext editions. I strongly encourage you to take advantage of all of this as it will provide deeper understanding of the work. To share a quick story with you, last year I performed the complete Brahms violin and piano sonatas in Chicago. Now these are works that I have known for quite some time, and so as I was studying the Hen through the Henley edition, I was reading through the stories, the preface, the critical commentary, and all of the letters that Brahms wrote to Clara Schumann. Um, all of these resources provided new and fresh insights and perspectives of all of these wonderful masterpieces. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, and I hope you will consider using this wonderful app. To read my review and overview, please see the link below. Thanks for watching.